It's 19 hours GMT and we're live here on GH1 TV and on Star FM 103.5. We're also streaming live online on starfm.com.gh. And on Facebook, it's at GH1 TV. I'm Natalie Fort. Welcome to the moment that you've all been waiting for. The launch of Ghana's most novel customer-centered award show that seeks to celebrate and promote quality customer service by rewarding commercial enterprises with the best customer experience nationwide. Now, before we get underway, you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is customer experience and how is it measured and why is it so important? Well, recline, relax, and take your mind back to the last time you had really great experience as a customer. Remember the ways that it left you feeling special, valued, and wanting to return? Now do the same for the last time you had a terrible experience as a customer. To get the ball rolling, we engaged some of you on your customer care experiences over the years, and here is what you had to say. I'll talk about ECG first. First of all, when you enter into ECG, maybe they are customer service for you to pay maybe your bills over there. The way sometimes the ladies over there talk to you, it's not nice at all. They even see you like as you are coming, you don't know what you are going to do. You are coming there to do. So they are service over there. I'll say sub. Some of their offices is too bad because they, they have to see everyone like being a Ghanaian that I enter into an ECG office not to buy tomatoes or to do that but actually to pay bills they, so they need to assist you maybe i'm coming they, they bring me a bill that i don't understand and then if i bring and say oh madam you bring me a bill i don't get it so they have to take their time and then educate you or tell you more about the bill for you to understand well but you'll be free and pay your bills so that maybe you're going to pay a bill and then you frown your face or somehow something but then you have to pay bill with smile that's when you understand the meaning of the bill that you are going to pay so i have problem with the ECG customer service with the mtn at times when you call them they will tell you to hold on i will be standing on their phone for about one hour without anyone attending to you it's bad i don't know whether they they know that they are most people are on their network that's what they've been doing that but then that place they have to check that place well and i'm going for ghana network vodafone to you will call and call nobody will pick it that place is bad they need to check all because customer service it's because of customer that we are still alive because when they don't pay they don't buy we are also not there and then even for we selling at a marketplace to yeah at times a customer will come to you the customer will get to know maybe for for me, for instance, I sell a refresher, but they come and ask you, but you only eraser, it's something else. But then you need to see to them. When it comes to customer service in Ghana, I, I think, um, how do I put it? Most of the telecommunication networks have good customer service, but the others that I have, I have, I have had experience with, it's not too good. I, I mean, maybe they don't really know how to speak to you, or they don't have the patience to handle your matter. Yeah. In most cases, when I go to places of that nature, they look at your appearance sometimes. When you don't look nice, like somebody who is uh, from a highly respected office, you're also somebody of your own. Their way of treating you is different from the day you will not look so sharp and the day you will not look sharp for them to also be recognized. So in all, you realize that People look at personality before giving their service. If they, they don't see you or they don't see you to be somebody of your own or somebody of importance, the, the attitude towards you is different from if they see you as somebody of a class. So Ghanaians or offices of that nature, you realize that they look at you and judge you before rendering their service I'm a Nigerian, so talking about my experience with the customer service, I've experienced in Ghana, I would say it's very good compared to what I have experienced in Nigeria, yeah. I don't know, but there are a lot of good people here, a lot of people everywhere in Nigeria, both in Nigeria and Ghana, but I think Ghanaians have a very good customer care relationship between the customer and themselves, so I will applaud them for that. Uh, I've been to several banks, I've been to Echo Bank, I've been to um, Vodafone, um, what do you call it? Their office very close to Epsecu here. And I don't know, they have this way of communicating to people, like giving you this assurance and like helping you solve your matters. 
Yeah, so I would say I've not had any bad experience. Thanks for sharing your experiences with us. And for those of you who have not yet shared with us your customer experiences, do feel free to do so on social media using the hashtag the people's favorite. And that's favorite with a U. Now, today, customers have the power to decide which brands succeed and which brands do not succeed. With a plethora of options to choose from, customers are not merely satisfied with the provision of a good service, but with the overall experience that accompanies that service. It has therefore become increasingly necessary to provide customers with a remarkable experience. Now, The People's Favorite is an initiative of EIB Network's GH1 Television and Star 103.5 FM. This year's awards marks the maiden edition that will be an annual ceremony with the ultimate purpose of rewarding customer experience in Ghana. The initiative was birthed from the recognition of the fact that customer service in Ghana remains an area not frequently discussed and much less awarded. It seeks to serve as a bridge between customers and businesses, giving customers the platform and the power to candidly share their ser customer service experiences. Now, let's now welcome General Manager of GH1 Television and Star FM 103.5, Nanaba Namwa, who will join us with additional information on the people's favorite. Nana, welcome. Hi, Natalie. Good Hello. to see you. Good to see you, you too. You look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So tell us, we, we all know that this is a very innovative idea. It's, it's something that, quite frankly, hasn't been done before. What should people be looking out for? Well, so what they should be looking out for is the premium, the place on customer service. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people rant a lot. Uh, we saw the video exactly. not too long ago, yeah. people ranting about customer service experience. Mm -hmm. And so we expect them to now have a stamp of authority to prove to the brands that you are serving us. Uh, you are not doing us a favor by providing a service. And so we decide who stands tall in all of these categories. The moment we start rewarding and these brands get to know that indeed the people are deciding for themselves, they will begin to take customer service uh, seriously. Absolutely. And we have informed them that really the power is in their hands. It's Absolutely. the people that are going to be doing the yes. voting from yes. beginning to end. Absolutely. Let's further explain that to them to know how much the power is really in their hands. Absolutely. So I'm going to do that through my um, address to yes, the viewers. Certainly. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen, especially you relaxing in your couch, watching us on GH1 TV and you cruising your way home and your ears are fixed to 103.5 Star FM. On behalf of the management of EIB Network English Cluster, I warmly welcome you to the launch of the People's Favourite. Tonight, we bring to you what, after a wide consultation and observation, is that chance for you to show exactly how you feel about customer service in Ghana. Undoubtedly, we all, in one way or another, have had that wonderful experience accessing a service or laying hands on a product needed to make life complete. And invariably, the painfully memorable moments of horrible customer experience. The People's Favorite was conceived as that opportunity where you, the wonderful millions of Ghanaians and people resident in our lovely country, will show just how much you love or loathe a customer experience at the hands of people, organizations, and products you pay for. This, we believe, will begin a new dawn in the face of customer service delivery in the country. The full knowledge that the great service will be celebrated will inspire many businesses to provide excellence, equality that we here at EIB Network tirelessly aspire to offer every single day of our lives. Um, the categories will be exactly what you want and the power to decide who wins what will fully be in your hands? I mean, your vote will count and determine who wins what for the people's favorite. For the maiden edition, we are sure to walk with you, listen to you and give you all that you need to give true meaning to rewarding quality customer service. We thank you so much for giving us a piece of your Friday night and be assured that the new dawn of offering the best is here and here to stay. As Shen Haiken puts it, the key is when a customer walks away thinking, wow, I love doing business with them and I want to tell others about the experience. It is time to step up and give true meaning to these words everywhere we go. 
On this note, allow me the singular honor to introduce to you the chairman of the board that will oversee the successful process of this novelty. Engineer Dr. Kenneth Edem Ashigbe is the CEO of the Ghana Telecommunications Chamber and he's joining us shortly via Zoom. And so um, hopefully he joins us in a bit. Yes, so and he is, I, I he is think, going to join us very, very yeah. soon. And one thing, we were discussing it earlier that I'd like to find out from you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure many people would be interested in knowing same. What has been your best and worst customer service experiences till date? <laughs> one time <laughs> I needed my data okay. so badly mm -hmm. and I had paid money to a telco expecting that my data will come on stream, that okay. it will work. And it never worked. And I had an exam coming up and I needed the data mm -hmm. to work. I waited hours and end. It didn't work. I called their customer service. They kept me on the line for so long. Yeah. Um, and then I sent them a tweet. There was no response. Okay. Eventually, I had to take to Twitter to give them some heat wow. before they responded to me. That is my worst experience. Mm -hmm. But it's the same network that gave me a brilliant experience as well. Okay. And so it's been hot and cold for me. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I mean, I have to say that it was just the bad experience I had with this network for the longest time. Okay. But apart from that incident, I had had a very good experience mm -hmm. with them. I've had great experiences with Ghana Water Company, okay. with ECG. With ECG? I, yeah, I was surprised to hear the lady said e, say she ECG. She has huge problems with ECG. Because, you know, the ECG customer care um, officials, right? Mm. As I said, they've been taking through some training. Yeah. They just listen to you rant. Mm. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what else can we do for you? And it's annoys me so much uh -huh. come that on get, so calm. say something <laughs> yes. yeah but i've had some very great experiences mm -hmm. uh the bad experiences have been you know, just a few but i've had some great services but again mm -hmm. sometimes it depends on the personality the mm -hmm. people are serving true. so i walk into a place and they that's probably true think, and, they, it's Nanaba, so. and they give you good service oh yeah definitely yeah. now we finally got dr ken ashibe joining us okay it's over to you all right dr ashibe it's good to have you can you hear me, Dr. Ashikbe? Okay, I think he's on the line now. We can, we can see him on, on, on the TV. Uh, can you hear me, Dr. Ashikbe? All right, the network is slightly delayed. Customer care. <laughs> Customer care. <laughs> All right, it's slightly delayed. But yes, that's uh, Dr. Ken Ashikbe. He's the CEO of the Telecommunications Chamber, mm -hmm. and he will be the chair of the board uh, that will spearhead and lead the process of selecting our favorite brands in Ghana. And that decision will be made solely by you. Certainly. So. And it's clear, having Dr. Ken Ashibi and other key personalities on, on our board, that integrity is going to be one thing we're going to be very big on for this, for this award ceremony. Now, can we briefly, before Dr. Ashibi joins us, explain to our viewers and to those who are going to be voting how the process is going to be, briefly? Well, so briefly, we are going to start putting out the list tomorrow. So simple questions, for instance, tomorrow, we want to hear from people uh, which network is their favorite in Ghana, which yeah. telco is their favorite. So you give us a list of your favorites uh, for, for telco, the telecommunication sector, for banking, for hospitality, for everyday products. And everyday products could be anything, anything you use every day, from a condom uh -huh. to a sanitary pad. Yeah. Yeah, to everything you use every day, everyday products. Mm. Uh, toothpaste uh, is an everyday product. You use it every single day. Yeah. So there are different categories. So they are going to give us this list. They are going to select which of these brands is their favorite under any of the categories. And then we are working with an auditing company that's going to collate the number of times a particular brand was nominated by our viewers and our listeners yeah. and then they will collate that number and then we decide which brands go into the competition itself mm. so it could be that tomorrow when we ask about the telcos um three networks are going to get the most votes so these three networks will go into the competition yeah. and then viewers and listeners the public will decide mm -hmm. which network is the people's favorite. Absolutely. So basically, that's that's how it's going to work. Yeah, so that's lets our viewers know that from Friday, the 12th of June, 2021, until the 26th of June, 2021, the various award categories for the people's favorite will air on television and on radio, on Star <laughs> FM. And these categories will also be shared on our social media platforms. You can engage with us with the hashtag, the people's favorite. Over to Dr. Ken Ashibe now. Okay, I think he can hear us loud and clear now. Dr. Ashibe. It's good to have you. 
Thank you very much, Nanaba. Right. I'm happy we can finally, finally hear his yes. voice. Yes. <laughs> but actually, so just one question. Um, you've agreed to chair the board for us. Can you tell us what went into that decision? Why do you, why do you want to be part of a program, an award, an event that rewards customer service experiences? Well, uh, a couple of things. Uh, so first, it's important. Customer service is important for all of us. It's important that we are able to provide our customers the best of service. And I think you made the point rightly that in Ghana, we've not really moved customer service to that level that we, ought, we want it to be. It's interesting to hear uh, brothers from Nigeria talk about you know, the relative uh, improvement that he sees in Ghana, but we know that we need to get to that particular point where we're delivering the best of customer service to our people to be able to build our capacities, to be able to ensure that we can go out from our local place into the global world as well. And also we need to have a, a way where there's feedback that is given to a brand. And I think that for two solid media brands to decide that they will take this on, it's, it's, it's a good initiative and it's something that would help uh, businesses, brands to be able to build themselves. And the, the good thing about it is that this is the people's favorite. So it's not about anybody sitting anywhere to be able to, uh, to de decide, but it's the people doing it. So uh, discussing with yourselves uh, and looking at the modalities that have been put in place, this is going to be a very transparent and rigorous and fair process and so that brands that would come up tops would know that you're doing a good thing. Those who would also need to do things can then le leverage on the feedback that will be given to them through this awards to also improve uh, the delivery that they're doing to them. So I believe this is a good initiative that we all need to support. And we would definitely assure our listeners and our viewers that uh, integrity would be at the core of whatever it is that we do in adjudicating who is the best brand and who also needs to improve. Thank you very much, Dr. Ken Ashikbe, for joining us tonight. We are eternally grateful uh, for your time and we can't uh, wait to start working with you. Thank you so much. Lovely. Yes. Lovely. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Very, very grateful for your words there. Now we've introduced the Minister for Information, Honorable Kojo Opong Nkrumah, who's also endorsed this award program. My name is Kojo Opong Nkrumah. Member of Parliament for the Ofoasia Yubi constituency and Minister responsible for information. They say the customer is at the heart of every business because without the customer, there's no business. And that's why it also follows that the customer is always right and that the customer is king in the business. It's therefore important that increasingly we pay more attention to the customer service space draw the attention of various businesses, employees, and stakeholders to the need to cater for the customer. And that's why it's exciting that the EIB network has selected People's Favorite, which is a platform that will help us focus a lot more attention on attention to the customer. Through this awards and recognition platform, businesses that are paying attention to their customers can be identified and rewarded and the selection criteria has been carefully designed to combine feedback from customers and the general public. I want to urge you all to support the people's favorite and to participate. And on behalf of the organizers, the EIB Network, I declare the people's favorite duly launched. There you have it. The people's favorite has been duly launched. Thanks to Minister for Information, Kojo Apong Nkrumah, for his words there. And certainly we are confident that this award scheme will help make customer experience, customer service and customer care a top, top priority in Ghana. Now, when you think about quality customer care, what industries come to mind? Are they the obvious industries with customer management as their core service and value propositions such as the hospitality sector, aviation, food and beverages? Well, quality customer care is not only relevant in certain industries that come readily to mind, but in every single industry. 
for example, in education, in the health sector, in banking. And that's why we've compiled a rather broad list of categories. Here they are. Ghana, are you ready? This is for you. You decide who wins what. Here are your categories. Sports. We know how much you love your football. So, in the sports category, you decide who wins your favorite local football team of the year. Your favorite football personality of the year. And your favorite supporters fan base of the year. Academia. Don't we love our schools? But which institution offers the best customer experience? Under Academia, decide. Your favorite tertiary institution of the year. Your favorite senior high school of the year. Your favorite basic school of the year. Hospitality. Your favorite hotel of the year. Your favorite chop bar of the year. Your favorite resort of the year. Your favorite pub or club of the year. Transportation. Your favorite local airline of the year. Your favorite ride hailing company of the year. Your favorite intercity transport company of the year. Health. For the health sector, decide. Your favorite public hospital of the year. And your favorite polyclinic of the year. Your favorite private hospital of the year. In the banking sector, overwhelmingly decide which bank stands out as your favorite bank of the year. Do same for your favorite insurance company of the year, your favorite telco of the year, and your favorite real estate company of the year. Which agency wins your favorite advertising agency of the year? And of course, your favorite advert of the year. You also decide your favorite indigenous product of the year and your favorite everyday product of the year. There's more. Who is your favorite actor of the year? Your favorite musician of the year? Your favorite comedian of the year? And the ultimate, the customer care service provider of the year. So those are various categories here on The People's Favourite. Remember, you can keep engaging with us on social media. The hashtag is The People's Favourite. Nana, I'm sure people have very, very interesting responses for yes. some, particularly our everyday products. Everyday, yeah, the yeah. everyday products. I, I can just guess like, the number of yeah. entries we're going to. It will be overwhelming. Definitely overwhelming. Yeah. It certainly will be. Now, we've got a number of bloggers here who are going to be engaging with us and asking a few questions and getting further information on the award scheme. So over to you, which of you would like to start? You could start by telling us your name, your blog or institution. Okay, so my name is Zion Felix of ZionFelix.com. Nice. Um, I want to ask uh, General Manager, timelines for the awards. I mean, mm. from tomorrow you are asking questions. When will the uh, nominees be announced? Voting from when to when, the okay. main awards? And all those Thank you very much. That's a very excellent question. So um, the nominees, we are asking um, our our lovely people to send us their favorite brands and so that would go on till the 28th of this month and then we'll have um a nominees list or nominees party is that yes. what they call it a nominees party that's where we announce the brands that made it to the final so um the general public will have two months to vote for these brands so it will go through july till august and then on september 4 we'll have the grand finale to reward the, the favorite brands for all of the categories, yeah. And uh, so I hope the pattern for voting is not will not be announced yet since we don't have the categories. Out. No, no, we don't know which brand is making uh, mm. uh, the list. We, so we, we have no idea. Uh, that's why we're saying that the people are deciding. We have no say at all. So a particular brand could be our favorite brand, but we have no say. Because eventually when we do the collation, the, the general public can't see which brand stood out during the call for nominations. It's going to be verifiable. And that's why we have 
Dr. Ken Ashigbe attached to this because we are going all out. Uh, we respect integrity, we respect honesty. And so you will see at first time, when you go on Twitter, you can count the number of times people have nominated maybe a Zion Felix, the number of times uh, people have nominated Twins Dombeg. You can collate it yourself. You can collate it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. And these are the platforms we are using. Uh, we have a, 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 an organization that will be doing the collation for us as well. But the brands themselves, the individuals, will be able to collate the numbers themselves. My, my final question. Um, with, the, with, the, with the names that people give out, are you going to uh, see some of them? Because some of the products might not be good for certain people. Let's say... Um, uh, for the want of better, uh, for the want of better words, let me use we. <laughs> Most people keep mentioning we, we, not we, going we. To be. or maybe I'm not saying post two is no good. Mm. But pe most people keep writing concept, cons contraceptive, contraceptive, but mm. yeah, contraceptive. Okay, so but there is nothing wrong with a contraceptive. I mean, in fact, um, globally, uh, we're pushing for contraceptives just to stem the tide of uh, you know. Uh, populations all over the world. Yeah. Um, we're trying to do away with unwanted pregnancies, and so. Uh, contraceptives are being advertised regularly on TV. And so if you feel that contraceptive is your everyday product and you shouldn't be using that thing every day, really, <laughs> because it is not healthy. But if it comes up and it has so many nominations, it will go into the... Because we don't have a say. So you mentioned weed. I don't know if weed is an everyday product. I am not too sure about it. It's not, is it? Zion, <laughs> give, give, Zion the, give Zion the microphone, please. Uh, not is for is me. it an everyday product for not you? Not for me, but okay. there are so many people that we like, <laughs> a starter for them. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we'll see, but I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, we'll see about that. So thank you very much, Zion, for those questions. Thank that you, Zion. I mean, we isn't branded as well. Yeah, and it's so not it's a brand. So it's not quite, it's, it doesn't it's quite fit the category. You yeah. know, F Felix, it's not brand, unless yeah. you're going to do Zion, Felix, we. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we is out. Want the association. <laughs> we is okay. out, yeah. Thank you for, for the question. Any other question? Go ahead. Your name, please, and your institution. My name is Foster Argo, uh, the host of the Star Drive. Nice. I have been listening and asking myself, okay, so this is a very groundbreaking you know, initiative, mm -hmm. and definitely brands would love to be partners to it. Now, here we are trying to, you know, look, look out for the best brand when it comes to customer care service delivery. How are we going to separate um, brands that will be interested, interested in wanting to sponsor or be mm -hmm. partners to the event? <laughs> And, and when they get nominated, what do we do about that? That's a good question. <laughs> Conflict yeah. of interest. Yeah. Well, do we it's, deal a, it's with a that? very good question. When they get nominated, again, we have no say. So we're not going to say because um, Brand Zion is giving us 500,000 CDs, it is going to inform uh, their position in any category. It doesn't work that way. Because as we've been saying right from the get go, we have no say at all. The people are the ones voting and so zion could be sponsoring the awards but he would probably not be doing too well what it does for zion is that now he will take his branding seriously he will take customer care seriously and there is also visibility for for zion and so zion is associated with the awards every day the program is in association with zion um it is top of the mind recall as well for him so there are so many benefits attached to this without necessarily having a way to make Zion look very good when he probably doesn't deserve it. But we want to believe that the clients who advertise with us take customer care seriously. And so if your name appears, you should be happy. If it doesn't, you should take it seriously and work on it. Yeah, yeah. thank you. It's Zion a very simple deal. Yeah, I think it? the key is, as the name tells, it's the people's favorite. So mm. it's all on the people. The people have the power. Over to you. Okay, so my name is Swin Um I'm an international photographer and blogger. Yeah. So mine is not really a question, but just to applaud GH1 for such an initiative. It's very educative and it's entertaining as well. And I think this is what Ghanaians need because it's going to educate the young ones and also really teach a lot of people about customer service because we all have had very bad experience with customer service, especially if you really don't know your right and you go to a shop or to any place and, and you really get a bad attitude from, from, a, from um, a service provider, you yeah. can't even 
sometimes the managers don't even um, mind you, but I must applaud you each one. And, and I just want to know if other media brands are also nominated. Yes. <laughs> so we deliberately kept the media yeah. out okay. because it will be a conflict of interest. Yeah. Imagine, vote for your favorite media brand. And but you're also providing customer service. That's true. Service. But you have EIB there. You have multimedia there. You have um, Despy Group there. You have Media General there. Uh, it is not, it is not, I mean. So nothing media. Nothing, nothing media. media. We're taking ourselves out. I mean, there, there are awards that celebrate the media. We want to leave that to them. We don't want to have any conflict whatsoever at all. And so we deliberately kept the media out. But if indeed you think that the media should also be checked for customer care, I think it's something bloggers should do. Um, you know, your favorite media awards. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, if they are nominated, are you going to keep them in the category? Who? If I mean, media, media no, we are, are not media. That media is not part of the categories at all. Yeah, we took it out. Yeah, yes, we don't Thank want you. temptations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay on the safe side. Thank you for the question. Over to you. Any question or comments doesn't have to be a question. Go ahead. Um, I'm Charles from GH Kweku. Um, I came to represent for my brother. Um, <laughs> I'm late, so I... I <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Customer care. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> um, I don't know much, but all I, can, I see that it's a big project, and um, okay. yeah, I'm happy for it. Yeah, I'm applauding GH1 for it. Thank yeah, you so, very much. Yeah, Thank on. you. Where's Kweku, by the way? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for representing him. And thank you all so much for your questions and comments. I love what Twins Doombeg shared. Some very salient points. There are little ways that we all offer customer service on a daily basis. We mm -hmm. don't even recognize it. Thank you all so much who stayed with us throughout this entire program. And do take notes that you can continue to engage with us on our various social media platforms with the hashtag the people's favorite. And also take notes that from Friday the 12th of June until the 26th of June 2021, the various award categories of the people's favorite will air on television and on radio that's on star fm 103.5 the categories will also be shared on our various social media platforms and then we'll hold a nominations party for the people's favorite awards which would take place on the 28th of june 2021 to announce the various nominees under each category that you will be responsible for choosing voting then officially commences in july and ends in august 2021 making way for the main award ceremony on the 4th of September, 2021. Thank you all so much for staying with us here on GH1 TV and on Star FM 103.5. Let's remember that together we are going to make customer service a top priority here in Ghana. Continue to engage with us on our various social media sites with the hashtag the people's favorite. And all too soon, we draw the curtains on the launch of the People's Favourite here on GH1 TV and Star FM 103.5. It's been an absolute pleasure serving you as your host for this groundbreaking initiative. And we look forward to walking this journey with you until the big day on September 4, 2021. Until then, this has been the launch of Ghana's most novelle customer-centred award show that seeks to celebrate and promote quality customer service by rewarding commercial enterprises with the best customer experience nationwide. I'm Natalie Ford, stayed glued to, to GH1 and Star FM 103.5 in the coming days as we bring you a lot more. Have a pleasurable evening. The beautiful decor used for GH1 and Star FM's award show, The People's Favorite, was done by Prime Shades Limited. Prime Shades is a doc decor service provider offering exquisite event styling for weddings, parties, and all occasions. You can visit Prime Shades on Instagram. That's at Prime Shades GH. You can also call 244 895 111 or 024 933 Four six four eight. Prime Shades is responsible for this lovely interior used for the launch of the People's Favorite.